he was wondering about skin dews. He said skin dews are the most common bladed weapon or tool that kilters wear. But other than skin dews, what are some of the blades or weapons or things that are generally accepted for wearing at contemporary Celtic festivals or historical events or ren fairs or the like? What kind of what kind of cutlery are you allowed to carry around um, as a modern day Highlander? I a a standard I'll, I'll go a few different ways. Standard boot knife or a pocket knife or something like that. I know a lot of the guys at the shop carry a, a knife on their one of their kilt their hips kilt strap um, just for you know opening boxes or whatever, defending themselves against customers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy customers. Want, it's. Oh. Well, I, I want the graphic of that. I want Lucas and Lance in battle position against you know an onslaught of of customers. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't think of too many you know pieces of cutlery that people would bring with them. Um, a dirk, but nobody really wears dirks, so to you know all that often. Any thoughts, Eric? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I would not wear any such weaponry if you're going to a general uh, Highland Games event, a festival atmosphere. Um, it's more trouble than it's worth. If you if yeah. if the event even if the venue even allows things like that, they will almost certainly require that they be peace tied. Um, which I know there are other terms for it now, but essentially peace tying is something that Ren Fairs and other venues will do, where they uh, use. A lot of time a zip tie these days to make sure that the weapon cannot be drawn from the scabbard because they don't want people you know they don't want a few bad apples being idiots and you know, hey, look at my sword you know and and causing accidents and causing trouble um yeah. so number you know number one that just is like meh okay it's a prop um even in my experience in the sca you think you know when you're a teenager and you're getting into this you're like yeah, I want a cool sword. I'm going to wear the sword with my tunic and my medieval stuff. I'm going to go around, yeah, with my sword. And then you very, very, re very quickly realize that it it's heavy um, after a while and it's awkward. And there'll be cases where like if you're at an event indoors, you wind up accidentally lifting ladies' skirts, which is a historical problem, by the way. Not just a modern one. Uh, and, you, and you slap... Well, accidentally. accidentally and on purpose, it happened. In fact, Queen Elizabeth was famous for uh, making her courtiers uh, limit their blade lengths to like 40 inches, um, you know, like 38 to 40 inches. And if it was longer than that, you would either be disbarred from entering the court or they'd snap the blade off um, to prove the point because it was an inconvenience to the ladies and, uh, and honestly to other people too. Like you just, you're, you're whacking people in the, in the, in the shins as yeah. you walk around in a closed quarters. Um, so if you really are doing like a cosplay kind of a vibe and you really want to look like super Highlander or something at a Ren Faire or something, then okay, it's fun. But then you're getting, then you're getting into the discussion we have about fantasy versus reality, which we get into here sometimes for a modern context, Highland games, a dinner, um, you know, a clan gathering, yada, yada, yada. I don't recommend it at all. Unless you are there to do specifically do a reenactment for the public as a as a as a reenactor, and you're doing a set time where you're doing a demonstration of this is what a Jacobite war, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I wouldn't bother with it. Um, it's just it's more trouble than it's worth. Uh, it really honestly does get in your way. I might go so far as to say a dirk would be f a fun accessory, but really there's a reason people don't carry them around on the daily these days. So. Yeah. I wouldn't bother. Um, I don't know. I don't mean to be a killjoy. I really don't mean to be a killjoy. It's just like I used to carry. I used to carry swords around at events, and it's just like after a while, I was just like, screw it. You know, I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out and fight later this afternoon. The stuff I'm gonna use for that is in a bag. <laughs> it's in a big duffel bag. That I'm gonna carry out to the field, flop on the ground, unzip, and take out so I can go fight. I'm not gonna wear that stuff around all day. So, yeah, I would say. Invest your money in accessories that are more forgiving or practical, um, practical. or practical. Or, you know, like if it's a special occasion like a wedding, you may find that you want to have that sword there because they're doing the sword arch for the for the bride and groom or something like that. Or like you're the guard of honor. They've given you a job to be like, you know, a, a, a good looking guy as part of the proceedings. Great. But bear in mind that you're probably going to set aside or put it back in your car when you're not performing that duty. Agreed. That makes sense? 
<laughs> yep. See, the, I, I'm also don't worry about weapons because my hands are lethal weapons. You know, so I don't I don't need a sword. Everybody was kung fu fighting. No. Can we play that on bagpipes? <laughs> um. No. Hey. Ugh. All right. Hang on, I got this. Do you do you like uh, weapons? Do you like weapons? Do you like Scotland? Check out these videos about Scottish history and culture, and to learn a little bit more about dressing for festivals and events. If you really like what you saw, then take up the way of the true Highlander and subscribe to our channel.